The Ford Boss style lower front fascia is a step further than a front splitter or spoiler as far as changing looks. So it's going to be for someone that's looking to change things up quite a bit in the front end, including changing up the fog lights, and for someone that wants to spend a little bit of time giving their GT a facelift. Jumping right into this, this lower front fascia is going to come with new fog lights that are going to pull power from your stock headlights. So your stock headlights will still be there in your upper grille, but they won't be functional. Unless you have plans to go with a different grille, that is, or plans to pick up the MMD Boss style fog light deletes. The deletes are an inexpensive way to remove the fog lights if you compare the price of them, just under $60, to the price of a new grill, which is anywhere from $200 and up. Now Ford does sell this very same front fascia without the fog lights, and not only is that version going to be less expensive, but it's going to allow you to keep your factory fog lights functional. So if you aren't interested in the fog lights that come with this, but you really like this style and the looks of the lower front fascia, that's always an option for you. This is a genuine Ford part, so it's the OEM lower front fascia that comes from the factory on the Boss and the California Special Mustangs. So it's not like this fascia totally breaks the mold, but it's going to change the looks of the front end in a pretty big way. This is going to replace the lower grille and the painted portion of the lower fascia of the stock GT and give it what I call more of a solid square look that's a good deal more aggressive than the factory front fascia. One thing that I did want to point out here is that this is just the lower front fascia. It does not come with a Boss front splitter, although you can complete the look and add the Boss splitter very easily to this lower front fascia. Another thing to mention here is that this fascia, since it is the OEM part, does have the two 3-inch openings for the brake duct cooling kit. You would need to pick up the Blowfish Racing brake duct cooling kit to actually make this feature functional, and it's only going to work if you have a 2011-12 to with the factory 14-inch Brembo package. But add-ons and additional features aside, this is made from the same OEM quality high-pressure injection molded thermal plastic, so it's going to have that OEM grainy texture to it. A lot of exterior modifications are made from this material or similar materials because it's very durable and long-lasting especially for things like chin spoilers, rear valances, and splitters, because the material can take the abuse of street driving and still hold up. As far as price, you're looking at spending just under $350 for the lower front fascia, which, considering this is an OEM upgrade, isn't a bad price. The other option that Ford offers when it comes to this fascia, the one without the fog lights, is about $100 less. A lot of guys do just leave the fog lights out, but ultimately that's going to be up to you. And if you're interested in the front splitter, that costs just over $150, and the brake duct cooling kit costs a little under $200. When it comes to the install, this one's going to take about three hours, but it's not really difficult. I'm going to call it a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. You will need a handful of different tools, but nothing out of the ordinary, just a ratchet, a couple of different sockets, a Phillips head, and maybe some needle nose pliers. You can remove the lower front fascia, it's just a few push tabs. You want to disconnect your stock fog lights and the side marker lights as well. Next, you'll tackle the fog light wiring. The wiring harness will just plug into the original factory wiring harness. Luckily, this is all plug and play here. You're just going to want to make sure that you route the wiring out of the way. The new fascia came with some metal tabs, and to get the new fascia installed, you'll line up the black plastic tabs with the slots on the bumper, and then push the fascia into the bumper cover. The fascia will click into place as long as everything is lined up, and the metal clips will secure everything. Wrapping things up here with the Ford Boss CS style lower front fascia. This lower front fascia fits 2010 to 12 GT Mustangs, and you can check it out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.